Good morning and welcome to Jeremy Cruz's vlog. I'm his sister and I'm gonna show you a day in Budapest today. Gina. Oh my god, what? what? Good morning, Gina. Oh. Oh. I'm taking over my brother's oh. vlog today. Oh. <laughs> what are you eating? Oh. <laughs> this is my breakfast for today. All right, time to go to class. Let's go. See you 12.30? Ish. Ish. Hey, Ellie. Hey, Emmanuel. Hello, internet. I'm scared. Today's a good day. The sun is shining. It's been so cold lately but the sun is finally out again. So the plan for the day is I'm gonna go to class and then I'm gonna meet Sarah at a cafe and then I'm gonna go to the place I volunteer at, go back home, eat dinner, and then we'll see what the night holds. So my daily commute, or not daily, but every time I go to class it takes 20 minutes because the dorm is on the Buddha side and my university is on the Pesh side. So it's across the river, it takes 20 minutes. Um, but probably crossing the river and going on the bridge is one of my favorite things about going to school. As you can see, this is the Great Market Hall. This is the old Corvinus building. I'm going to the new Corvinus building because that's where my classes are. Um, I'll tell you more later. right next to Corvinus, the old building. So, let's go in. Gotta go get rice. There's only one place that sells good rice here in Budapest for cheap, and that is this place. bacon and they put in some pomegranate stuff in there Ooh. put balsamic and just cream cheese it's so good decided not to study in the library gonna go to a cafe instead in hungary they take advent very seriously there's tons of advent wreaths all around All right, we're gonna tell you a couple facts about Budapest. Can I say the first fact? Yeah, sure. The first fact is that this cafe has no Wi-Fi. <laughs> Buda and Pest. Budapest is actually two cities. Buda and Pest. Oh, <laughs> um, Buda <laughs> and it was combined a long time ago. You know what's crazy? 
We leave next week. Next Saturday. We leave next week. Yeah. All right. You want to hear another random fact about Budapest slash Hungary? Wait, wait, I didn't finish Budapest. Let me start over. So Budapest is made out of two cities, each on either side of the Danube River. Buda is the side where it's more hilly, um, kind of more country, suburban, but not kind of, not really. Pest is where the nightlife is, where the big buildings are, where Corvinus is, our university. The Danube runs through it all. And together they make Budapest. Hungary is like major export, or like what they're famous for is paprika, which is basically like chili pepper, but it's actually, actually not even Hungarian. It's from like central Mexico, and it was brought over to the Iberian Peninsula, and then down to North Africa, and then to Asia, and then it came back in to Central Europe during the Ottoman. And even like the word paprika isn't a Hungarian word, it's a Slavic word, and that word derives from Latin. So nothing about paprika is actually Hungarian. Fact number three so the Hungarian language is a very special language. The only other language that's like it is Finnish, but it's not even close. And therefore, it's super hard to learn and we've probably picked up a little bit. Say some things. That means Hungary. Hello is Sia. Good day is Yonapot. Thank you is Kosanam. After visiting a couple European cities, we've observed that there are a couple things that every European city has. One, Graffiti everywhere. Two smokers. Smokers everywhere. Three pigeons. Pigeons everywhere. And four PDA. Oh, everywhere. That's so true. And beautiful buildings. Beautiful places. It's cold. Cold. All right. Back on at service party. Bye. It's only 4 p.m. and the sun has set already. It's super cold. Oh. Heading to my service learning where I volunteer. Today. Well, this is a bishop hat. It was used to be a bishop hat, and today is December, 6th of December, and it means that in Hungary you have uh, uh, Saint Nicholas Day, like Mikulash Day, and he was used to be a bishop, so that was his, uh, his um, hat. So that's why I'm wearing it. But actually, now they have the American version and Saint Nicholas, so I try to keep the habits. What are you guys making? and the Krampus, the not kind of helper, but the bad person. So who is the bad who takes the bad well, children? The, bad. The, the, good, the good get some gift mm. because it's St. Nicholas Day. So the place I volunteer at is called Temegen, which means you and I, and it's a ministry outreach to um, the children 
in that neighborhood. So they have an after school program that children go to and just have fun at. So my job is just to hang out with the kids, um, connect in any way I can because I can't speak the language. But usually it's a bit of a crazy time, but it's usually a fun time. So that's what that was. Tonight we went around at St. Nicolas and Krumpus and we were giving gifts to children at their house. Uh, that was really cool. In the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Alicia, are you coming? Yeah. Where are we going right now? We're going to Bluebird Karaoke. <laughs> it's like actually, I like that place a lot because I like to sing and I miss Norebang. But it's really fun. Yes. And they have pina colada! <laughs> <laughs> The trams are over because it's late, so we have to take the night bus home. That ends a day in Budapest. In the kitchen, in the dorm kitchen. Two weeks from departure. Two weeks from departure. Oh my god. Eating. Oh, look at 